All right, let's not waste any time. I'm Kevin Federson with Federson Capital. This is my new YouTube channel and this is my first video. Let's just get straight to it. No fluff, all results. I'm gonna give you guys the five best side hustles to make money right now when you have no money to start with. This video is super important for me because I used to look up these videos all the time when I was short on rent, short on groceries and all that stuff. So let's get straight to it of what you can do. Focus groups. There's a website called focuspointglobal.com. You can go onto the website, you register, see if you qualify for these things. These pay anywhere from 50 up to $500. They're all over the place, they have many different things, so I will make sure there's a link below for you to click on for you to try these out. I like this one a lot because you can do it from the comfort of your home, you can do it anywhere you have a phone or a laptop. You usually get selected for one out of every five that you apply for, but it's worth it. It's an easy way to get cash. Plus, if you have a job already, it's something that can work around your schedule. Just wake up early on a weekend and go make some extra money rather than just sleeping in and eating cereal all day. As much as I love doing that. Now, realistically, I like to be optimistic with a little bit of realism in it. You can make anywhere from $200 to $600 a month if you actually apply yourself, which sometimes is all you need. Maybe you're short on a phone bill, groceries, you have kids, whatever it may be. It's a good way so if you need between two to six hundred dollars these focus groups are a really good way to do it so that will be linked below focuspointglobal.com go click it number two side hustle Turo now I now before we get into this of course I've seen all the pessimists I've seen all the YouTube videos of a lot of negative people saying oh I didn't make me that money but the thing is Turo has worked out really great as long as you take care make sure that all the checklists are taken care of the tires are full and you document the photos before you go out you're not gonna really have any problems with claims and things like that. The only time I see people really not having a good time with Turo is trying to rent exotic cars. Now, I have what's called a Polaris Slingshot. It's a three-wheeler, it's meant for cruising and fun events. And out here in Utah, it does really well. I haven't really had problems with it. The only time I've seen people complain is like if they have Ferraris and Lamborghinis and try and rent them out. It's a hit and miss depending on where you live. With Turo, it doesn't matter what car you have as long as it qualifies through the Turo list of qualifications. I like Turo a lot because it's a good way to help cover the cost of the car. If you finance the car, you're trying to pay it off, this is a good way to get a couple extra bucks into it or even pay the insurance off. I know there's been months in my past where I couldn't even afford the insurance for the car I had and it meant the world to me to make sure I had it. The main thing you want to do is that you're doing the checklist on check in and check out so you don't miss anything. Make sure you always check the conditions of the tire, even tire pressure, document everything and Turo is actually pretty decent about getting everything taken care of if you have any damages. The only time I really see a problem is when people aren't documenting fully or the tread on the tire was too low or maybe tire pressure. Make sure you document everything. You want to be pretty nitpicky about this stuff so that you have a full case. When you're running your Turo, you want to make sure that you're super responsive on the app. Make sure that you're always replying to messages immediately. Don't let them sit for over 24 hours. I wouldn't even let them sit for more than an hour. To be honest, you always want to be super responsive with that. Another thing you want to do is refrain from canceling too many trips. That's just going to hurt the overall experience and it's not going to get you good ratings. So try and accept them as much as you can. Make sure you plan your schedule, know when you're listing your car that you are available. You want to make sure that you can drop whatever you're doing or have someone drop whatever they're doing and accommodate the person. I always check the reviews thoroughly. I always make sure who's had a good time, who wasn't, who's a good host. That means a lot to me, more than the actual car. Because when it comes down to it, you're going to have a lot of cars that are the same. For example, there's a lot of Teslas out there. I think there's probably 12 or 15 Teslas just in the valley around me. They're all the same color. The only thing that differentiates them with me is the reviews and the customer experience. So that's where you're going to score big is on the customer experience. So make sure that you're taking care of that. And also on the photography and videos. I mean, it's 2021. You probably have a good 4K camera. Get the best photos you can. Just make sure there's not a lot of glares or anything like that. And you'll be set. There's actually a list on Turo of their highest success rate of cars, anywhere from Jeeps, Camaros, things like that. If you want to get into hustling Turo, that could be a fun side hustle for you to finance cars you normally wouldn't be able to. Even if you don't flip a profit, it'd be really cool to be able to make the car payment at least. Say your car payment's $300, you rent it for $60, bucks. you only need to rent it a few times out of the month to be able to technically get a free car. Obviously, you got to factor in insurance and all that stuff, but if it's a relatively new car, you're not going to have any major issues. Now, that's why I got a Polaris Slingshot. It's been really cool, but I live in Salt Lake City, Utah, where it rains and snows half the year. But during the summer and spring months, they do really well with rentals. While I consider it a side hustle, I think it's just a good way for people who are struggling with car payments or car insurance at the time. Go put it on Turo and see how it does. Just check the reviews, see what cars do the best, see if your car qualifies or would do well. And yeah, just be a great host and I think you'll have a good time. 
Number three side hustle that you can start today with no money, affiliate marketing. Now when I first heard this, I had a lot of negative connotations. I thought, well, I don't have a huge social media following and I have a million people click my links. That doesn't matter. You guys can get creative. You don't need a huge following to get clicks on your Amazon referral links or anything that's affiliate marketing related. Now first off, I'm gonna give you guys a list of companies who give referrals right when you join them. Robinhood pays up to $500. Webull can pay up to $1,000 in referrals. And TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a great app that I use to help with my YouTube analytics and everything like that. All those things I'm going to list below. Now here's a little story of someone that I thought was really creative with how they use their Amazon affiliate links. I was in a production company with a business partner and he created an Amazon affiliate link for all sorts of camera equipment. But everyone that we ran across and encountered, he would give this link to from SD cards, memory cards. They'd be like, oh, i got to go buy a memory card. He'd be like, oh, go use my link. He would hustle everyone that he ran across and he started racking up points for his referral links everywhere we went. He'd say, hold up, I have a link for that and send people to it. So he created like a regular customer base of people using his links and this was a real hustler in my mind. And the sky's the limit with how creative you can get with this stuff. And of course you can post it to YouTube links, Instagram, all of that stuff. So I'd say find a niche market on social media, create some Amazon affiliate links and hustle like crazy to get people to start clicking on those. The sky's the limit with what you can do with those and it costs no money to you to start. You know, our ancestors are probably going crazy to think all you have to do is create a social media account and click a link, and the sky's the limit as far as your work ethic to get money in. They do anything to be in our position, so let's take how fortunate we are and use these links and do everything we can to make today better. Now, number four side hustle you can start today with no money, teaching. Well, teaching and consulting, even tutoring. Now with teaching and consulting, you take on as much work as you want, work around your own schedule. Now this is a great way to get quick cash because you can post it to Facebook, Instagram, friend circles, families, referrals, everything. I know someone that actually made a couple hundred dollars a month just doing piano lessons and advertising it on Facebook and Instagram, simple as that. You obviously need a skill, but you can do anything from being a musician up to a film editor. I know film editing is something I'm always looking up at how to do. If you speak a different language, there's just limitless ways you can post on social media and start doing side hustles for teaching and consulting. And with stuff like this, you can charge anywhere from $20 to $100 an hour depending on your skill set level and what area you're in. So I'd say start with your friends and family, networking through social media, and get yourself a couple extra hundred bucks through that way. Number five side hustle, Airbnb. Now this is only going to be different for someone if they rent an apartment. Obviously there's going to be conflicts there unless you had the coolest landlord in the world. But in this case, it's for those people who have a house. But I really like Airbnb. I've seen a flurry of people who are making a killing doing Airbnbs with their houses and they're making it their full-time hustle. So this is something that can go from a side hustle to a full-time hustle. And this one's cool because you can make up to $100 a night, especially if you know how to market it properly. If you take really nice photos and get all the reviews and get things going, so you can get a nice side hustle going off of this. Once you get some backlogs going and some good reviews, you can really start elevating on the app and getting people to come out of town, check out your place. So with Airbnb, you can rent out your entire house or if you only have a basement available or a bedroom available, that's a great place to start. I would just focus on the professionalism of your Airbnb profile. Make sure that you have the best photos that you have access to and that there's not junk lying around in the background and they're not really crappy iPhone photos with all the glare. Make sure that they're the best that you have access to. Now this last tip I have for you does require a little bit of money, but it'd be garage sale flipping. Everybody's seen the Gary Vee thing, but I've done it personally myself. The couch behind me being flipped, profit $80 off of it. I mean, so I made $80 just off this couch, got it a garage sale for super cheap, flipping it, no big deal. Obviously it requires a little bit of money, but if you have an extra $20 to $40, flip it on the weekend. I would say just tune into someone like Gary Vee. There's plenty of garage flippers on YouTube who do great job of showing you a breakdown of exactly how to do it and you can get away with $20, $40 investment and flip it. So thank you guys for tuning in. I wanted to give you a quick raw edit of how to get side hustles going. I didn't want to give you all the fluff and waste your time. I know when you're in these positions, you're kind of stressed out, you may be a little bit anxious. You just want to get money as quick as possible. You're probably in a struggling position to pay off your phone bill, pay off rent, get some food on the table, stuff like that. So I didn't want to waste your guys' time, so if you appreciate me, appreciate your time, leave me a like and a subscribe because I will give you guys the best content that I possibly can. Now I relate with you guys a lot on this topic because so much of my time was spent in the struggle, not having enough food, the anger that comes from not having anything in the fridge, the annoyance of getting the letters in the mail reminding you that you have late bills, that your account's been closed, you're like, I know, I know, I know, and you feel overwhelmed. So I sympathize with everyone in this YouTube video who needs the money. I really do. 
but there's hope out there. Please keep positivity in your head high. Take at least 10-15 minutes to breathe and meditate before you make these decisions. You'll reduce a lot of stress out of your life and make this whole process of getting out of the grind so much better. So I hope everyone that watched this video finds great luck and you're blessed and they get all of your things taken care of. I wish the best for you guys. With that being said, I'm out.